day in the life of a Kosovar refugee in Macedonia. Queue for four hours in the rain and the mud for food. Wash clothes in a muddy stream. Try to find out where the rest of your family are, or even if they're alive. And then carry the recent memory of being driven from your home at gunpoint. They have the shooting, killing the people, beating and stole, the, stole everything what they had. Half a prison or more, the prison was empty and there was a lot of harassment, so we just had to leave. I leave my family, 70 members of my family. I leave my friends, I leave my neighbors, I leave my photograph, I leave my everything. Those are the uncertainties adding to the rain for tens of thousands in Stankovic, just north of Macedonia's capital, Skopje. Oxfam is in the forefront of getting it organized. They're getting water to the camps, spreading hygiene kits, helping to keep spirits up. But as fast as the aid and workers arrive, thousands more refugees come in from Kosovo. Every day there's more refugees coming in, so there's pressure on the refugee camps to have more and more tents. And with Stankovic 1, we're absolutely full now. You can't fit any more tents in. Uh, but with this camp, Stankovic 2, day by day there's more tents. Every time I come here, there's another set of tents. So people really are being squeezed in wherever they can. We're preparing for, for two things. We have to uprate the level of service that we're providing in the existing camps. Um, and we have to be ready for a further influx. Um, there's still lots of rumours um, about numbers, about people moving around on the other side. We have to be prepared to deal with another 50, 60, 70, 80,000 people arriving very, very quickly. The first the refugees see of Macedonia is the border town Blatze. That's where conditions were at their worst in the early days of the crisis. Behind me at the moment, there are 500 people waiting to get through. It could take them several hours. All they have is a few plastic bags with what few possessions they could get together at the time. When they do get through, all they can do is go to one of the camps. They came by the car, but they don't di uh, give to come with the car here. They couldn't bring the car no, across? No. The refugees spend a couple of days at Blatze before being bused to the main camps. There they're kept in by Macedonian guards. The 53,000 people in Stankovic could only huddle in their tents or trudge through the mud for hours to collect a loaf of bread, a tin of fish and a banana. How long has he been waiting? Oh. Three hours. Three hours? Yeah. But at least there was food and shelter. And Oxfam has set up a plentiful water supply. They can turn their thoughts now to improvements elsewhere.